Hey guys, it's Little Mist here. So I'm gonna post this video on both of my channels, I think. So, so this will also be on my main channel too. Um, and on my main channel, when I post it, I'm gonna say, you know, like I'm gonna drop a link to my Little Miss channel on my main channel in the description and in the comments so that all my subscribers from my main channel can come over to my Little Miss channel to see this because I have an announcement to make and I have a few other things to say so this video is an announcement video but also kind of like a vlog at the same time if that makes sense but yeah, anyways, so, um, y'all probably noticed my last song that I uploaded called Nobodies. Yeah, there's actually a reason for that song. Oh, don't you worry, I'll be coming to that. But, firstly, I've got an itchy nose, excuse me, I've got allergies. Okay, firstly, um, I, um... I've made friends with this guy who raps too and um, he he heard a few of my rap songs I heard a few of his and you know we both like each other's music and the way we met is actually through Tom McDonald because I made a comment on one of Tom McDonald's posts and he liked it and he added me and I accepted his friend request and I noticed he makes music. Um, I saw a video of him producing a beat and rapping over it. And I was like, wow, this guy's got talent. So I inboxed him and, you know, um, I thought, yeah, now's the time to talk about rap. Like, another person who's, like, doing rap and stuff got to talk about it, you know. So, um... I spoke to him about it and we had a lot of chats about rap and stuff like that and um yeah we and then I said like do you want to do follow for follow on SoundCloud yeah I'll do that with everyone who I know who's on SoundCloud uh, especially if like um they're a rapper because it's mostly people who are rappers on SoundCloud that I speak to although I don't know many but um I know a few rappers on SoundCloud and I've done a, you know if someone follows me on SoundCloud I'll follow them back so anyway I haven't even made the announcement yet damn I've been rambling for three minutes and <laughs> sorry guys it's me ADHD <laughs> Anyway, so, um, yeah, we've actually became friends now. I see him as my homie now, you know? Anyway, so, um, he listened to my Lost My Ability to Rap song, and he liked it, and he, he came up with an idea of doing a remix on it, and a remix where he features on it. And I was like, yeah, sure, I'm down for that. But I was thinking, um, how are we going to make this work when I'm in the UK and he's in another country? Um, and then I thought, well, hold on. I could just send him the lyrics and then delete some of the lyrics. That will be his spot for his lyrics. And then um, I can re-record the song and then leave a blank part um, for him to rap on basically so that's what I did and um, it took me a while though because I've not been well like I've had a lot of stuff going on physically mentally so it took me a while to actually you know be able to get it done but then I finally got it done so what I did is um, yeah well, I sent him the recording and um, <clears throat> Do you know what? Uh, he was so fast at um, actually, like, doing his part. He sent me his part the very next day. Um, like, he sent me the song with, obviously, my part and then his part. I saved it to my files or to my iCloud. So I thought, next, 
just need to come up with a cover photo so i asked him to send me a photo of himself he'd like to be used for the cover photo um so i could put my photo and his photo and put you know um basically little mist feet slaking you know lost my ability to rap remix you know basically like that so yeah um so i'm not very good at editing i can be but it depends but like i thought if i edit this myself it's not gonna come out great so i asked one of my facebook friends who didn't edit for me before now i know y'all guys are gonna think oh this sounds gay but the edit was basically a lot of people on facebook have been putting their cover photos as iCarly you know the tv show iCarly and they've um, literally um, edited in pictures of themselves to make it look like they're in iCarly I tried to do it but it didn't work it came out really awful and um, the guy who I saw um, who did the iCarly edit for himself you know I told him and I showed him I was like how would you do this i can't do this and then he edited it for me and um he did a very good job of it and so yeah my facebook wallpaper is iCarly with me in it so it makes me look like i'm in iCarly anyways um i'm probably gonna ramble i can't help it so i hope none of y'all get bored and just stop listening because i have more stuff to say and I made the announcement that I've done a remix of my song, didn't I? Yes, with Slay King. And also, I will be posting that song after this video onto my YouTube. Obviously, my Little Mist channel. My Little Mist channel, it will be posted on. I repeated myself because I felt like my speech impediment came out then and I might have said that a bit off you know so so i messaged the dude and um who did the iCarly edit for me and i said i heard a noise so i just had to listen it sounded like a beeping noise or something i can hear it again there's always weird noises outside right and it distracts me you know it really distracts me anyway so um, I said to him, you know, I don't really like asking for favours, but I said, would you mind, like, doing an edit for me? Um, I sent him the photo of me and um, Slay King, and I sent him a picture of the parental advisory sticker. Like, um, I swear in some of my songs, but I don't swear in all of them. My aim was to be more like NF and not swear in any of my songs. But the more that I try not to swear, the more I swear. So I've kind of given up now. I've had to accept the fact that, well, I um, I have a potty mouth. I can't help it. I'm always going to swear. <laughs> yeah, I might be able to do a few songs I don't swear in. But there's going to be songs that I do swear in. But anyways, in my Lost My Ability to Rap song, I didn't actually swear in that song at all. But yeah, um, in the remix, um, Slay King, he swore. So I thought, because he swore, I'd, you know, get the parental advisory um, label thing chucked in there. Because, you know, if they're swearing in a song, you know, every artist, they're going to put um, the parental advisory sticker. You know, parental advisory explicit content, because swearing is seen as explicit isn't it so yeah um so he did the edit and he was saying though that he didn't think he could do it because he said he's not that great at it i was like oh come on like you can do this like, i told i even told him i guarantee you'll do a better job than i would and i was right and i think he did a really good job so like um when you old guys see the video i post of the song um, I, um, the remix of my song with Slay King, um, you will see um, the cover to it. 
so the cover was edited by um, a Facebook friend of mine so I didn't do that edit the only bit I contributed contributed to it is the text like um, he sent me the picture with no text like I said I'll do the text it's fine and I did the text you know saying little mist lost my ability to rap um and then in brackets remix i put that on my side where my photo the photo of me is and then where the photo of slaking is i put ft for feet and dot and then i put slaking on his side where his picture is so that's how i did it and so that's going to be the cover for the song the photo cover and i am planning to do an album or an ep um i haven't yet decided whether i should just go for it and go for an album or a mixtape i don't know um i'm gonna look up how many songs an album has to have if i could have like a mini album not an album that has like 20 songs <laughs> That's overwhelming, I can't do that. Um, ten songs? I don't know if ten songs would be an album, maybe. I think maybe I could just about manage ten songs. And on that album, um, I'm going to add that song onto that album. So then, that's just... Well... And on that album, I'll probably add the original Lost My Ability to Rap, actually. And then that leaves me with eight songs to write and do, to add on it, basically. Um, or seven, because I might put Pill Popper on that album, too. I'm not sure yet. I'll think of something, but all I know is that song with Slaking is going on that album. Um, the original song is going on that album um i don't know if i will put any more songs i've done on there as for my diss tracks i, I was getting a, onto them i won't be putting the diss tracks on the album because they're just separate yeah i did some diss tracks against travis scott and i have my reasons i don't care what anyone wants to think or believe everyone has their different opinions but that concert was satanic it was demonic he planned for those people to die it was a satanic ritualistic sacrifice i'm not stupid and you know there are fans with testimonies about what was going on they felt that you know dark energy that demonic energy there <clears throat> and the fact that travis scott he lied saying oh I couldn't see the bodies because it was too dark he saw them he was staring at them while he was singing and rapping and he kept going yeah 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 basically and I've said um, some of this before so I'm repeating myself a little bit here but yeah and he saw dead bodies being dragged away this one woman um this one woman's dead body when she was being taken away he actually saw it and he looked at her body um i'm not sure if he went yeah 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 well, on that part but he definitely looked and he was i know he was still singing and rapping when he looked at her dead body being taken away i just i'm trying not to cry because i um I usually turn my emotions off, yeah. Things like this affect me, so I usually am neutral. So I'll come across as cold and uncaring because um, I hold in the tears. And when I speak about hard topics like this, I try to keep my composure and not cry about it. And I try not to show any emotion about it because I know that if I do... I'm literally going to start, you know, like, bawling my eyes out because it is very sad and tragic what happened. I really feel for those poor families of the victims who died, the victims. Um, 
and anyone else who attended that concert who may still be in hospital recovering like I just wish them all the best of luck and also I just you know I really feel for the families I really do and I feel for the victims and I really hope that, that that they can find a way to get through this. I feel so sorry for them. And Travis Scott's apology, yeah, um, that was fake. You could tell it was fake. Anyone who's falling for that bullshit, yeah. I've been trying not to swear, but now I've just sworn. It was a bullshit fake apology. End of you know and a lot of people pointed out you know things like body language and stuff like that and um, people actually pulled that video apart pulled apart his body language and he made it look all heartfelt and genuine but you could tell it wasn't and people a lot of people have commented on his fake apology video and kylie jenner lied to and what else yeah people have been talking about the fact that kylie jenner lied anyway i know that i don't keep my eyes on the camera at all times but i'm autistic so sometimes i'll kind of look away because i'm either thinking or i'm not good with holding eye contact like um just meet me if you ever met me in person you'd see like um i either overdo it with the eye contact and i'll just be like this you know like staring the whole time while talking and then it just makes me look creepy and i will like creep people out or i just will barely look at the person and i would just look away sort of like that and be like yep 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 or I'll hold eye contact for a bit, but then I'll look away sometimes. It's um, it's a part of my mental health, a part of my autism. Um, eye contact I've never been good with. And um, because I don't like that because I get that used against me. So, for example, when I'm speaking the truth, yeah, people will say to me, you're not speaking the truth because you're not holding eye contact. That rule does apply to a lot of people, yes. But to me and people with my illnesses, no. Because we're not good at holding eye contact. Just because we don't always hold eye contact when we're telling the truth doesn't mean we're not telling the truth. Just because, say, for example, we're speaking about something, right, yeah? We're being 100% honest. We're not lying. But then we look away like this, for example... And we look away and we start speaking the truth about something that's true. People will say, oh, they're not speaking the truth because they're looking away. They're not making direct eye contact. Yeah, you know, that's what people will say because people don't understand autism or BPD, or these other mental illnesses, depression, anxiety, um, I've got a lot wrong with me, I've got depression, anxiety, BPD, PTSD, um, autism obviously, and you know, I'm not going to sit here and list every single mental disorder I have, because there's too many of them to list, okay, anyway, I've got ADHD too, which you can probably tell because I've rambled and I don't even remember what I've said that's another thing I forget what I'm saying and then part of that is my physical health I have fibromyalgia and myalgia encephalomyelitis yes I'm repeating myself because I've already said before that I have these things also known as chronic fatigue immune dysfunction syndrome so yeah um I get sleepy a lot, like, I'm either really hyper with my ADHD, ADD slash ADHD, I'm not sure yet whether I have ADD or ADHD, so I'm not sure if I've got the hyper one or the non-hyper one, but sometimes I'll go hyper, other times 
I won't be high part. Um, I'll just be falling asleep because of my ME, my algiocencephalomyelitis, also known as CFIDS, chronic fatigue immune dysfunction syndrome. It makes you chronically fatigued. So I'll be falling asleep, you know. And then at other times I'll be really hyper. But um, So I thought I must have ADD, the non-hyperactive one. But I was very hyper as a child. My mum says I have all the signs of the hyperactive one. It could be my physical health and the chronic fatigue masking the ADHD. Which is why it makes it look like I have ADD more than ADHD. Which is why... <clears throat> During my official assessment, I'm already under the ADHD, um, what are they called? Um, well, the um, ADHD psychiatry place, I'm already under them. So, it's just, I've got to fill out a load of forms and it's going to, it's going to, it's going to drill my brain, you know. It, my brain can't cope with it, it's too much. Try having an ADD, ADHD brain and all these films to fill out and you've got brain fog and you've got fibro fog because I also have fibromyalgia too. So, yeah, like, it's too much for me. There's loads of forms. They want so much information and I can't deal with it. It's too much. And now I've got to juggle that with making music also i feel quite faint and dizzy right now i was thinking why do i feel faint and dizzy then i remembered i haven't eaten anything for god knows how long so i'm gonna start wrapping this up because this video is already too long it wasn't meant to be this long anyway so i made three diss tracks on travis scott um now the this the travis scott diss track number two um some random dude commented on it saying i hope this is a joke this is ass and then he put it on a playlist of his on a shitty little playlist of his and he called it um cringe shit yeah so basically he was taking the piss out of me um i know americans don't know what that means it's a british saying you say someone's taking the piss out of you or taking the mick out of you it means they're making fun of you it can also be known as bullying or trolling anyway so because of that he inspired me to write a song and i have other haters too so i thought i'm writing a song and I'm aiming it mostly at him, but I'm also going to aim it at my other haters. That's why I made the song Nobodies. That was the fastest I'd made a diss track or a song. Well, the diss tracks to Travis Scott were all freestyles. This diss track called Nobodies, I wrote it all. I wrote it pretty fast. I recorded it fast. I took a picture for it fast. I uploaded it fast. Because I was like, rearing and ready to go, you know, sort of thing. <laughs> oh, and I laughed in it too, of course. Got a good old laugh. Had to have a good old laugh out of it. Because at the end of the day, haters just do me a favour. Because the more they hate on me, the more people hear about me. Because people are going to think, oh, who's Little Mist? And they're, they're going to look up my music. And then, basically, that's given me more clout. So by hating on me, you're just giving me more clout. And so, basically, you're, you know, butt-fucking yourselves. Because you're doing the absolute opposite of what you're trying to achieve. But you're trying to bring me down by hating on me. But instead of bringing me down, you're bringing me up. Because then more people hear about me. And then that brings me more fame. Now, obviously, I'm not well known or heard of. So, yeah, because I'm new to this still. But, you know, I'm trying. It takes time. And time, I have the time and I have the patience. 
I will keep sticking at it and I'm never giving up. Right, so, um, so yeah, I did that song. Um, if you haven't already listened to it, you should check it out because this guy is literally a nobody. This was on SoundCloud, this happened. This guy has zero followers. He hated on me over a Travis Scott diss track. Clearly, he is a Travis Scott fan. And, um, yeah, he he probably wants to suck Travis Scott's dick or something. Yeah, go suck Travis Scott's dick, you piece of shit. Uh, in the song, I said, you know, like, if I was... a um, if I had a dick, I didn't. I was gonna say then. I'd. I said if I was a male, but no, I didn't say that. I said if I had a dick, I would say suck my dick. You stupid fucking prick. I said, but I should. I. I should have said. I should have gone something more like. If I had a dick, I would say suck my dick, bitch. You stupid fucking prick. I should have done something more like that. That would have been funny. But yeah, if you've not heard that song yet, nobody's check it out. That guy is a nobody. So who does he think he is coming and dissing me? He can feck off. I don't know whether I should age restrict this or not because I've sworn a lot and I've said some explicit stuff. Oof. Big oof. Um... I don't know I really don't and I can't sit here and think about it on camera because it's more recording time and it's just delays and I've got stuff to do today as well and nobody wants to sit here and watch a long 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 ass video anyway so yeah I did a remix of Lost My Ability to Rap with Slay King Mike that will be the next upload of mine and y'all should check it out this guy he is talented he's got bars i'm telling y'all he he has got bars he really can rap he he made the song so much better so y'all should really check it out like for real yeah so i'll be uploading that after this video um, trying to think if I covered all the topics. Um, I think so, but I don't know. But I get brain fog, so I don't know. But I've just rambled for too long, and nobody's gonna want to sit here and watch a thirty-minute bloody video. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I didn't mean to ramble. It just happens. It annoys me too. Also, because I've got to sit here and watch this. Because of my OCD, I replay everything. Also, I've got to sit back and replay this. Um, and if I didn't cover everything I was meant to cover, then there's going to have to be a part two of this. So before I post uh, my song with Slaking, I have got to watch this whole video. I mean, sure, I'll upload it, but I'm going to watch it as well. Um, and if I've missed anything out, then I'll make a part two. If I've not missed anything out, then I'll just go straight ahead and upload that song with Slaking. Right, anyways, I've rambled enough. I've, like, probably been annoying. Thank you to anyone who's actually watched this video all the way through. Like, I've, if you've actually taken the time to watch this whole video all the way through, I really appreciate it because I have rambled a lot. So, you know, I'll be surprised if anyone watches this all the way through. But if you do, thank you. I really genuinely appreciate it. Anyways, it's about time to end this video, isn't it? Right, so, um, I hope everyone's having a great day or night, and peace out, y'all.